Good day and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be teaching you how to draft a trouser. So right now we start from the waist here. You mark out 3.5 inches. And then you take out uh, 2 inches. This is the first measurement for the pocket allowance. So right now after you've done that, we divide our waist by 4 which is 14 inches divided by 4 will have 10 inches so now you place it from these 2 inches allowance you give and then we add extra half inch for the waist allowance then we mark out 1 inch for the slant notice the front of your trouser is more slanty than the back you mark it this way, don't mark it straight line. Alright, so right now I'll be taking out the crotch. This is a very big trouser, the person is a big person, so I'll be taking 10 and a half inches. I will also I will also drop a video on how to make a smaller one, which I would have used nine and a half. So you rule a straight line. Right now I'll be getting the vertical line. So how to get that is you measure here the up which is 12 inches and then we add half inch because it needs to be a bit slanty it won't be straight so up is 12 down is 12.5 you will lay your line now we get our pocket line which is 7.5 inches you mark it out so right now we'll be uh, going to the length of the trouser the length of the trouser, we don't measure it exactly from the beginning. You give half inch allowance for the waist joining. So from this half inch, the length of our trouser is 39. Then 2 inches allowance. We rule a line. If you observe the line is not perfectly straight, it's a bit slanty. That's how it should be. So um, we'll take 2 inches allowance before we connect our lines. Now to get the knee, you place your tip from your lap to the ankle divided by 2. This is 27 which will give us 13 and a half. Then we take 1 inch upwards. So we are using 12 and a half now. From the lap to the knee divided by 2 plus 1 upwards, that's 12 and a half. So we've gotten all our vertical lines. Right now we'll go ahead to connect from the ankle to the knee on a very straight line. And then from the knee to the pocket line will be slanty because it's towards the lap area. So now, to get a lap, the lap of the clothes is 28.5. 28.5 we divided by 2. We'll be having 14.3. We'll place it and then we'll mark it out. Then on the knee, the knee is a 19.5, which is 9.8. We'll mark it out. Then on the ankle, the ankle is 7 because it's a pencil trouser for the person. So right now, we'll connect our lines together. Ordinarily, I would have been using a free hand, but because of this video, I decided to make use of this. I'm not really comfortable in it. But it's not giving me my perfect line, but it's fine. Okay. You, you connect your lines together, make sure it's good to go. And then on this uh, crotch level, you make a curve there. And then we'll go ahead to cut it out. Please, uh, I would like to know where you're watching me from. I'd like to welcome you especially. Please, if you're watching me from Nigeria, from US, from Togo, anywhere you're watching from, please, I want you to comment in the comment section. 
tell me you're watching me from Uganda or from anywhere, I want to welcome you specially, please. Thank you. And if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do so. All right, this notch I notched here is for my pocket, so that when I'm dressing the pocket, I will know where exactly uh, to dress my pocket from. I have a video in this channel also on how to sew a trouser pocket, a trouser front pocket. Please, if, you, if you've not watched that, try and watch it. It's very, very important. I also showed you how to use this line I draw, I marked here now in that video. So it's very important. So please, the comment very, very important and like this video, share it with your friends. We also have a WhatsApp group, which you can be part of. There we share ideas, help ourselves. If, if you have any style giving you issue in creation, you can bring it there and we'll help ourselves. So uh, this, the waist is 40, write it down. Then we'll be going ahead to cut the back. So now observe the way I arranged it. Take your time to arrange it perfectly well and let this zip flap not be small so that it won't it won't uh, be useless. Make sure you have a, a little space there. Then you cut it exactly at the edge of the front trouser panel. So this is our zip flap. If you're a new subscriber, please type in the comment section, I just subscribed. I want to send you a special love welcome. All right, back to business. On the ankle, we'll be leaving 2.5, while on the waist, on the lap, we'll be using a uh, three inches. So make sure you get the accurate measurement. If it's not perfect, you arrange it. Then we connect the line to be straight. All right, then on the waist here, we take four inches upwards because the back is usually longer than the front. Then we connect the line together from the edge of the other side. So right now we'll, we'll leave half inches on that side for the dart allowance. We start our measurement from the exact waist. I don't know if you understand. The waist is 40, which is 10, then plus one and a half inch allowance. Then we now connect this to the lap here with one inch. You connect the one and a half inches to the one inch allowance. And then we create a curve down here. So as you can see guys, it's pretty simple. Very, very easy to understand. Very, very easy. So that will be all. We go ahead and cut it out. Please guys, if you've not subscribed, please and please try and subscribe to our channel. Here we'll give you content. We give you sewing tutorials on a steady steady. So please guys, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. So that is it. Uh, when you are cutting this side, please be very, very careful. From the knee, you start expanding your hand to meet with uh, that your half inch you gave earlier. If you remember, it's not exactly equal. So now we cut the down equal. And that is all. So thank you for sticking to the end of the tutorial. This is a pocket flap. We remove it out. See you guys in the next tutorial. So click on this video right here to learn how to sew your front pocket trouser and other interesting videos on this channel guys.